All right, so we're going to continue uh, building the photo gallery app. So we're going to continue. Or actually, we're going to complete the button trash uh, method, and then we're also going to complete. If we go back to the view controller. Uh, the user pressing the camera button and the photo album. Okay, so both of these are implemented via the UI image picker controller. So we'll have to inherit from that. Uh, but let's first start out with. Uh, the trash, so deleting a photo. Okay, so uh, when the user presses the trash button, we'll first uh, we'll first have an alert or an, just a, a pop-up message to ask uh, the user if they're sure they really want to delete this photo. Uh, that's more of like a best habit kind of thing. You don't want to just delete the photo right away in case they hit that button by accident. Uh, so let's create an alert. So let alert equal a UI alert controller UI alert controller and it's going to be the last one here so with a title message and preferred style so the title is going to be delete image the message is going to be are you sure you want to delete this image? And the preferred style is just going to be an alert. Okay, so now we have an alert controller. So alert dot add action. And the action that we want to add is going to be a UI alert action with a title, style, and handler. Okay. So the title of the alert is going to be, I mean of the action. The action that we're, when we say add action, it's essentially add a button or similar to an IB action. So we're adding a button to the alert that comes up. So the title of this first button is going to say yes. So the user does want to delete the image. Um, the style is just going to be default and then the handler so if the user presses the yes button what should be done okay so that's essentially what this is talking about now so we'll create a few blocking code right here and it takes in uh, an alert action So if the user presses yes, they want to delete it, then we delete the photo. Okay, so we'll come back and write the code for that in a second. Now we can add another button on here. Alert dot add action. And this is going to be if the user selects no, they don't want to uh, they don't want to delete the image. So it's going to be a UI alert action again with the title. The title is going to be no, we don't want to delete it. The style is going to be dot cancel. Oops. Dot cancel. And then the handler. I got all these matching up right. I need one more on the end. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we can fill in the code for this. So they this is do not delete photo. And then finally you just do self dot Present view controller, and the view controller. Actually, no, 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 this isn't what we want. We want present self dot present modal view controller, and the modal view controller that we're presenting is simply the alert. Actually, no, this. I'm sorry, this is wrong. We do want to do self dot present view controller since the view controller is, is going to be the alert. So alert 
animated, yes, uh, and completion. So if, if you complete it, we'll just say no for now. So basically, we've, we've created this UI alert controller. Uh, we've added two actions to it for yes and no, and then we present that view controller. Okay. So now let's go back here and add the code for the user does not want to delete it. So if they don't want to delete it, then all we do is dismiss uh, the alert. So we can say alert dot dismiss middle view controller animated true. All right, so that's all we have to do there. And now to delete the photo, we have to actually uh, submit a, a request, and we have to use a, the dot perform changes method in order to submit a request uh, to change it. So similar to what we did before, we do a ph photo library dot shared photo library dot perform changes. So now the change block, again, doesn't accept any arguments. Now the change block is where we submit our request or ask for a change request. So let request equal ph asset change request. And then we're going to use, uh, we'll just use this and say for asset collection and it's going to be self dot asset collection okay then we can say request dot remove assets hold on one second getting an error here ph asset I see it's wrong so we so I, I, I used the wrong method here. So this is ph asset change request. We actually want a ph asset collection change request uh, because we're modifying the collection itself. So let's just delete that and say ph asset collection change request. There we go. And now we want for asset collection, which is this one. And the asset collection is self dot asset collection. There we go. Now if we do request dot remove assets, now the assets that we want to remove is essentially the photo at the index. Okay? So this takes a and that's fast enumeration, so we put this inside uh, blocks and say self dot uh, photos asset and then at the index self dot index because that's the photo that we want to delete from the asset collection. Okay, and that's all we have to do for the change request. And now we can implement the uh, completion handler. Okay, so it takes in two uh, variables, success and error. So now we can say, we can just do a log message to the screen to see uh, if it was successful or not. So ns log, and then we'll say uh, deleted images or a deleted image mm -hmm. sent at, and then we'll do it based off of success. If it was a success, then print success. Otherwise, print uh, error. Okay. Now, if it was a success, we can simply, well, now since we're at the completion handler, the request has already been made and this has been completed uh, either successfully or not successfully. What we can do now is just dismiss the alert. So alert dot dismiss model view controller true. All right.
So now, at this point, you could leave it the way it is. Um, however, once you dismiss the middle view controller or the alert, once you dismiss the alert, the picture will still be uh, displayed full screen. So uh, the best thing to do actually is to update uh, the PH assets and the PH, PH asset collection so that you can you can actually get the next photo or the previous photo or show no photo. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, here, I'll try to I'll try to explain it a little further. So at this point, we've deleted the photo, and now we've dismissed the alert. Now this is actually this uh, method is complete now. So we're essentially just running the same code because uh, view will appear is not going to be called again, so you won't be displaying a new photo. Neither will view did load. So the same image is going to be displayed full screen. Now that's actually a problem because the user deleted that image. So you don't want to see that image. So the, the one of the best things to do would be to either just display the next image or the previous image uh, once the user deletes the image at this point. Right? So what we can do is actually before we dismiss it or after we dismiss it, it doesn't really make it matter. It should actually be after we dismiss it really because you want to uh, uh, you want to remove that alert and then have the image change in the background. So right after we uh, dismiss the, the alert, what we're going to do is fetch for the photos again now that they're updated uh, with, the removed, uh, with the removed photo and then simply take uh, set the image to the previous or the next uh, index. Okay, So let's just go, it'll probably make sense as we go along. So what we can do is say self.photosasset equals ph asset dot fetch assets in asset collection and the asset collection is going to be self dot asset collection since we've had that saved as an instance variable and we're going to say nil for the options now we can so we fetch the photos again now what we can do is check the bounds on the index that we have uh, as an instance variable to make sure that if we're at zero, then we don't want to take uh, we don't want to take a photo to the left or take a photo to the right. Um, that means we deleted the last image in the photos album, so we don't want to display any image. So what we can do is say if self dot photos asset dot count is zero, then no photos left. So we can simply say self dot image view dot image equals nil. So there's no image to display. And now we can just write no images left to the console. And at this point, since there's no images left, um, we could either set this image view to zero, or I mean to nil, or what we can do is just simply pop back to the home screen, or pop this view controller off the navigation controller stack, which will bring us back to the, the, the other uh, view controller, because at this point there's no photos to display. So. I'm going to leave it this way, but that's one other way we could do it is just to pop uh, pop this view controller off the stack since there's nothing to display anyways. Um, so I'm just going to make a note of that. Pop view controller or pop the root view controller so that's another implementation. So now that we're done, we've checked the, that. Now what we can say is, <coughs> if self dot index is greater than or equal to self 
dot photos asset dot count. So if the index of the photo to display is, is larger than the number of photos in uh, that we have available, then that means the index to display is out of bounds. All right, so we can simply say self dot index equals self dot photos asset dot count minus one. So set it. So this is this is basically adjusting for the user selected the last photo and they deleted that last photo. So now the number of photos is is one less than the index. So set the index to the last photo now. Um, so we can display the last photo. Okay. Now finally, we just call self dot view will appear. True. So we call self dot view will appear um, in order to reload the next image to call display photo. Actually, we could just call self dot display photo instead of calling this. So let's just call self dot display photo. There we go. All right, so we've handled uh, no photos in the uh, photos asset left, and we've handled the, the user deleting the last photo. Now, if the user deletes an image that's in the middle, what's going to happen is all of the photos essentially get shifted to the left past the one that you deleted. So in essence, you're, you're going to be displaying, or the index is going to be the next photo by default, which is why we had to take care of the last photo because they deleted the last photo so the index became la the the nil essentially uh, so we have to subtract one from the total count to set that equal to the index to set it to the last uh, photo okay then we can simply display the photo and we're all good okay so let's save that so that should be all uh, the trash so we should be able to test this out real quick. So let's just play. Okay, so now let's test out deleting the last photo. Or let's test out deleting this one. So here's a picture. We click this. Okay, we have the alert coming up. Trash is pressed. Are you sure you want to delete it? No. Brings us right back. If we click this again and now say yes, you see it deleted the image and showed us the next image in the assets. So deleted image was a success. So as you can see, now when we go back, everything is updated. The photo's not there anymore. And now we just have this last image. Now if we delete the last image, delete yes, it takes us to the previous image now. We cancel and go back. You can see it's the previous image that was here. Now let's keep deleting them. All right, so it keeps, it's working. All right, we'll stop that. So the trash is working now. So we're done with this, uh, this view controller. So let's go back here and implement the UI image picker controller to handle the camera and the photo album. Okay, so we need to actually inherit from uh, the UI image picker controller delegate. 